Welcome! This is the daily news update on Remo TV. I am New Yuji. First, the headlines. Oil State Governor Shei Makinde grants 20,000 Naira for workers and 15,000 Naira for pensioners in Oyo State. Court declares Mba certificate authentic and fines NYSC 5 million Naira. Ife Ajagba calls out WVC heavyweight champion Tyson Fury. Naramali and Samlari granted 20 million Naira bill each by Magistrate Court. Let's take a short break and we'll be right back. Welcome back. Here is the news in full. Governor Shane McKinley of Oyo State has approved the payment of 25,000 Naira for workers and 15,000 Naira for pensioners as wage awards in the state. The governor said the payment will be for six months at an additional 2.2 billion Naira to the wage bill of the state. McKinley made a disclosure on the company of labor leaders, including Comrade Kaede Martins, Comrade Bosnola B, Comrade Ola Nukpeko Luashio while addressing workers at the entrance of the Governor's Office, Secretariat Ibadan Oyo State. A federal high court sitting in Abuja has dismissed the allegation of forgery against the Enugu State Governor, Peter Mba. The court also imposed a fine of 5 million naira on NYC for alleging that the court discharge certificate held by Mba was fake. Mba had sued the NYC and its director, court certification Ibrahim Mohammed, for publishing a disclaimer denying the issuance of a discharge certificate issued to him on the 6th of January 2003. But the NYSC, in its preliminary objection dated the 19th of May and filed the 22nd of May, sought an order dismissing or striking out the suit for want of jurisdiction and competence. In sports news, Nigeria's WBC silver heavyweight champion Ifi Ajaba has openly called out WBC heavyweight champion Tyson Fury following his recent victory against Joe Goodall. Ajagba knocked out Godot inside four rounds to extend his professional records in 19-1 and retain his WBC silver heavyweight belt. Ajagba wants to fight the undefeated British boxer Fury or anyone in line as his next opponent in his quest to rule the WBC heavyweight division. The 29-year-old made this known in a post-match interview with Sam Umbono, confidently declaring his intentions to fight the Gypsy King. In the entertainment scene, Aziz Fashola, popularly known by his stage name Naramali, and his associate Balogwe Letu, better known as Samlari, were given 20 million naira in bail each. It was reported that earlier today, a magistrate court in Yaba, Lagos State, granted the bail, subject to three obligations. Mali and Larry are therefore required to surrender their international passports to ensure that they remain in Nigeria. And they are also expected to make weekly appearances at the State Criminal Investigation Department. The magistrate Adiola Latsubosun noted that any attempts to contact her in regards to the case would be recorded and potentially disclosed in the court proceedings. The singer and the socialite were remanded to the police custody for 21 days on the 6th of October 2023 after being linked to the cyber stalking, bullying and assault of the late Nigerian singer Ilirio Lua Loba, also known as Mobad. That's it on the news updates. Do stay connected with us by following our social media platforms on Instagram, Facebook, X, Thread, and YouTube at Official Remo TV. You can also visit our website at www.remotv.com.ng. I'm Naomi Yoji. Thank you for watching and good night.